<clears throat> All right, Shalom. Juan. This is the brother Mayo coming at you from GMS Tampa Bay. First and foremost, I want to give all the praises and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechak Wadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, and much blessing and salutations to the Akim around the four corners of the earth who are diligently pushing out his truth and his truth and sincerity, as well as the Shalom to the Akwathim who are learning in quietness and meekness. All right, so I just want to do a lesson here. Um, it being the, um, the Day of Atonement, uh, we went into it a little bit. <clears throat> well, we went into it uh, last night in, uh, in our um, our camp after camp video. Uh, but I just wanted to hit a couple other, <clears throat> a couple more precepts, uh, just to add on a little bit to to what we went into, and that's to, um, that's basically the, the 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 lesson that we went into was uh, being cleansed and. You know, um, you know, we basically went into uh, what happens and what we do during the time of atonement, which is what, you know, the day that we're in the high holy day, you know, and and this really should go for, you know, every other day, you know, every day that we're not that it's not it doesn't just have to be the high holy day of the day of atonement for you to to ask the most high to, to, to cleanse you, you know, to purge you out. You know, that word purge means the same thing as cleanse. All right, cleanse thoroughly. All right, so I just wanted to get a couple more precepts and, and, and add on to that. So without further ado, let me just go ahead and pull this precept out. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 5, and I'm going to just start at verse 6. It says, Your glorying is not good. Know ye not that a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump? And I want to get that word leaven there, all right, because this is something uh, important to know to un and to understand because not only do we have to within ourselves ask the lord to cleanse us all right because at the end of the day it's not you're not going to cleanse yourself all right no no one no one is going to be able to cleanse themselves of of whatever it might be that's that's um that's unclean or that needs to be cleansed all right it's the lord but also and um i believe it's in ezekiel where it says that the Lord, he's going to, he's going to cleanse or he's going to purge Israel. All right. Cause that even within Israel, there's some leaven and we're going to, let me get this meaning here real quick. It says leaven. It says, um, the Greek word here is a Zuma. If I'm pronouncing that right, let me see what the jackass says. Strong's G 2219. Zume. Zume. All right. So Zume. All right, but it says here, it says in, in the second point, it says metaphor of inveterate, if I'm pronouncing that right, inveterate mental and moral corruption. And what makes you corrupt is this is, is sin. Matter of fact, let me see if I can pull that up real quick. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, let me see if I can find it. There's so there's so many scriptures that go into it um, without having to use the word corruption or without having to use the word sin. But I thought there was one that broke it down. Um, maybe it's in Second Peter's, I believe. But no, nonetheless, I mean you you understand what that what is going into that word uh, corruption. All right, because that's what that's what makes you that's what makes you um, sin is what makes you corrupt. All right, sin is what makes you corrupt. All right, it says um, <clears throat> it says viewed in its tendency to affect others. You see, viewed in its tendencies to infect others, and this is one of the main reasons why we must or. You know, it's one of the main reasons. There's other. There's other main reasons for you to to ask the Lord to cleanse you. But the the reason why the Lord is going to allow you to be cleansed if if you're if He deems you worthy to be cleansed is so that one, you know, you you can be pure. You can be made pure in the eyes of the Lord, and two, so that you won't infect others around you. You know, and the Lord does that uh, on a bigger scale when He gets rid of guys out of this whole truth, man. 
you know, the, the Lord will get somebody and remove them out from a camp because the Lord doesn't want that person to, to infect others, man, because that person is corrupt because that person has leaven in them and they're not and they're not purging that out. All right. It says, let me read. Let's read this again in first Corinthians. It says five and six. It says your glorying is not good. Know ye not that a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. You see, so even a little bit of corruption that's within you, anything that makes you corrupt. I mean, even though we're in this flesh, but we try to do the best that we can. And we ask the Lord to to help us out in this. All right. Which is going to go into the next piece that I got. Um, you know, we, we ask in the Lord to, to help us out, remove this this leaven. All right. Because just a little bit leaven at the whole lump, man. Just a little bit of leaven, leaven at the whole lump. You know, because and we use this dot, we use this precept a lot for, for when we talk about um, these other camps and their little their doc, you know, the doctrines that they be changing up. You know, but we can use this to uh, to talk about within ourselves. Just a little bit of leaven will leaven at the whole lump. That's why we're supposed to constantly. It's not just a one once a year or twice a year thing that you you ask the Lord to help help cleanse you, man. No, man, this is something that you should be asking the Lord for daily. You know, the scripture says, examine thyself daily, man. Let's get that pre pre real quick. Oh, really? Let's just type in that. Here it is. This is 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. It says, examine yourselves. Whether ye be in the faith, prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that the Hamashi, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates? You see, so we, are to, we have to be examining ourselves daily, man. And when you examine yourself, you're going to find little things here and there. All right, you're going to find those little things here and there that you need to uh, ask the Lord to cleanse off, man. That you ask the Lord to purge out. Okay. So reading verse 7 now, 1 Corinthians 5 and 7, says, Purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump, as ye are unleavened, for even Hamashiach our Passover is sanctified for us. You see? This is what we're doing. We're 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 being we're asking the Lord to purge us to remove that old leaven so that we may become a new lump. Okay? So that we may become a new lump. And matter of fact, let me get this real quick. Um, uh, was it Proverbs 16? Yeah. I'm going to come back to that one. But let me get this in Psalms. Um, I believe it's 79. 79 and 9. Kind of, yep. All right. Uh, Psalm 79. And verse 9, it says, help us, O power of our salvation. All right, let me just put that up so you see where I'm at. Psalm 79, 9, it says, help us, O power of our salvation, for the glory of thy name, and deliver us, and purge away our sins for thy name's sake. You see, and that's, it, it, you know, uh, the Day of Atonement, this is what it's about, man. The Lord cleansing us, and we, we, we're praying to the Most High, and we're making, we're putting up our sacrifices up to the Lord all right, and we're we're observing this high holy day in, in hopes that the Lord can can give us a new slate, man. He can purge us of our sins for thy for his name's sake, not for our sakes, not so that we can have a better chance of making it into the kingdom, no man, but so that we so that the Lord so Salakia, so that we can be made pure to and, and the Lord be glorified through that. That's why that's what this is all about. This is why we we're asking the Lord to to purge us and to make us pure, man. Okay? So that he he can be glorified because in the in the last days we're going to we're the those that were that were um All right, let me get let's go to um What is it um Sirach 2 Yep. Um. Kind of, yep. 
says for gold Sirach 2 and 5 says for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity man all right so that's how we're being made pure all right and and, and we I've, you know there's been plenty of videos done you know and i did one a couple weeks ago it's going into this and the brother Ariel has mentioned it a bunch of times at camp you know when you melt gold down you, the the impurities come up to the top and they're removed and every time you do this over and over you go it's, it's a whole process you have to do to to make gold in its purest form as you're doing this is becoming pure and pure and that's what the lord is doing as we go through this journey of ours that that we call this truth man the lord is slowly you know purging his men so that he, in the end all right in the end all right when the when the when the elect is delivered the people are going to glorify the lord they're going to be glorifying the lord because they're going to be like dang these were those men all right that that we that um that we're talking about the scriptures that were doing the, the work of the lord like wisdom of solomon chapter 5 says all right that, that's the people are going to be looking at us and they're not going to be glorifying us when they see us getting beamed up they're going to be glorifying the lord well i mean you know what i mean they're not going to be glorifying the lord but they're going to they're going to know that it is of the lord man all right and, it, and, it, and it, at the end of the day the people are going to be glorifying the lord in the kingdom of heaven all right let me get this other one real quick since i was talking about that that the the the, 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 the purging all right of the fire um all right con this is uh 24 isaiah chapter 1 verse 24 says therefore so saith the lord the lord of hosts the mighty one of israel ah i will ease me of mine adversaries and avenge me of mine enemies verse 25 and i will turn my hand upon thee talking about israel and purely purge away thy dross all right let's get that word dross all right because that's what's being removed when we're being tried that's what we're, that's what we're being removed when when we're asking the lord to purge us is that dross and we're going to find out what this dross is all right because it goes back into that sirach chapter two all right that dross because that's what that that's what's being removed when we're being pure tried in that fire all right all right, pur pure purge away thy dross. Here it is, H fifty five oh nine, and it's um sayag sayag. If I'm pronouncing it, say sayag. All right, it says a moving back or away dross in the sense of refruit of, of refuse. Over here, I'm looking down at the Strong's definition. It says in the sense of refuse dross. Let's go into the strong the uh, Hebrew child lexicon here. All right, it says, "Take away the dross from silver, the refuse." All right, not yet refined, baser metal, which having been mixed with pure, is separated by it by melting. You see, so that that baser metal, which is that what what's what's that baser metal in the in, in the in the sense of of us being pure purged of the dross. The, the, that dross is is that corruption man all right those things that 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 uh that that leaven all right that's what's being purged all right and going back to that Sirach, the, the acceptable men tried in the furnace of adversity this is what in that furnace while we're being tried in that furnace of adversity this is what's being separated is that it's that leaven all right that dross says baser, baser metal which having been mixed with pure is separated from it by melting okay and it says here at the bottom that very last bottom it says but but the former is to be pervert preferred and what's that former that's that pure that's that pure the pureness all right because before there was any dross in there all right it was made pure just like we were we were made pure but then came then that then that dross was mixed in and then we had to get it then we had to start the process of being purged and, and, and cleansed okay so going back into this isaiah 21 i was at 20 or so like isaiah 1 and 25 and i will turn my hand upon thee and purely purge away thy dross and take away all thy tin let me just get that word tin there because it goes into a metals alloy but there's a point that i want to hit on on it all right and it says and it says and take away all thy tin all right it says 
10 essays alloy or the hebrew word is Zalakia. the hebrew word is uh badyal 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 and it says alloy 10 dros you see of israel metaphorically you see it says alloy because removed by smelting so going going again back into that um that dros basically is meaning the same thing okay let's go into this uh the root word here is but uh badal and it says to divide separate and what's being divided what's being separated from us is that dross all right the, the 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 sin the corruption the leaven all right this is what we're asking the lord to do for us to purge us of this uh, of of our our iniquities man and again not just in in not just on the day of atonement not just during the time of the passover man but we should be doing this daily man examining ourselves every day all right let me read this this is uh proverbs 16 and 6 it says by mercy and truth iniquity is purged and by the fear of the lord men depart from evil right men depart from evil were we were we not just going into that dross being separated you know departing from uh, departing from something is to separate yourself from something and what are we the what are we set being separated from what is the lord separating us from is this evil man the sin the iniquity okay and it says there by truth by mercy all right because it's, it's of the if so and we went into this last night a little bit it's of the mercy of the lord that we have this oppor we had we even had the opportunity to 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 um, to be purged from the lord it's 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 mercy that we have this opportunity because we could the lord could have just let us bask in in, in all this iniquity and in, in, in leaven man to the to the day that the missiles came All right, is is by mercy, man, and it says and truth. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged, man. All right, and that's self-explanatory, man. All right, because how are we? How are, what's another way of us getting cleansed? Let's see. Um, See if it pops up with this. I forget exactly how it goes. this is it ephesians let's go let's pull that up real quick all right because this is this is how this truth by the truth how iniquity is 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 uh purged ephesians 5 and 26 and see if this is it yep kind of all right so this is uh let me see if i can start up a little bit yeah right, let's just start at 26 so ephesians 5 and 26 it says that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word that he might present it present it to himself a glorious church not having spot or wrinkle and see this is what the lord is doing the lord is doing this again going into the bigger picture to to all of israel the lord well well yeah because because the lord is going to purge these the two-thirds of israel through the fire which is going to be coming through that nu that nuclear the nuclear missiles all right because even the yeah, even the two thirds are gonna get cleansed, all right. But what the men of the Lord are getting cleansed through the water, which is the the the, the scriptures, all right. Let's read this again from twenty six. It says that He might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, because this is the living waters. This word is the living waters. It says that He might present it Himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle. Because why we're being made pure as we as we as the Lord purges us purges us of our iniquities and we're becoming we're, we're, we're removing all our spots and wrinkles well the lord is 
It says, or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. You see? And that's what the Lord is doing. Is, is, is making us, man. He's making us pure, without blemish, holy. Okay? So this is what, this is, this is how, you know, that's, that's what the, that, uh, through that truth, because the, the word, thy, like the scripture says, thy words are truth, right? So this is, that's how we're, that's how it says, by mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. The way is, this is purged is through these words, man, because these words, the scripture, uh, all right, we went into it yesterday as well. These scriptures were given for what? In correction, reproof, correction, instruction, all right? Through these words, we it, it teaches us how not to be and, and how to be. And through these words, we, we 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 become a whole new creature when we come into the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of these scriptures. Okay, so I just wanted to, uh, to hit on those topics, you know, um, going in, adding on to last night's lesson, and um, you know, encouraging you brothers to not, you know, especially you 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 men, as well as you sisters who are just coming into this truth, you know, to to consider this and. and and, and incorporate this into your daily uh, walk in this truth because this this is not this is not just a thing that you should do, and just the day of atonement or during the time of uh, the Passover, man. This is something that we should be doing daily, you know, examining ourselves and, and and asking the Lord to to cleanse us of whatever we find or whatever the Lord reveals onto us that that needs to be uh, corrected or cleansed. Okay. So with that, I want to give all the praises and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachak Wadash, double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, and much blessing and salutations to the Akim who are diligently pushing out this truth um, day in and day out, and Shalom to the Akwathium, the sisters who are learning and quietness and meekness. Shalom.